for this recording, we are given two straight line L1 passing through the point 2 minus 1, 1, and L2 we given by 4 minus t, 1 plus 2t, and 3t. And these two lines are parallel. We are going to answer part D. Find the distance between L1 and L2. This is how the picture looks like. I have drawn L1 here. Pass to the point 2 minus 1, 0. Direction of L1 is minus 1, 2, 3. And L2 pass to the point 4, 1, 0. I'm going to find the distance between these two lines. The meaning of distance between these two lines means the shortest distance. That means the distance here, D. Now, how do I find this distance? The way to find this distance is like this. I join P1 and P2. Let's say the angle here is theta here. This is the angle between P1, P2, and the directional line. Then the distance from the diagram, you can know that this distance is the length of P1, P2, sine theta by using right angle triangle. However, I can actually get rid of theta by doing this. I'm going to multiply by the length of V and then divided by the length of V again. Now the reason I do this because the, the expression on the numerator is very special. The expression on the numerator, if you recall, the vector cross product. I have a vector u cross v. This is going to be length of u, the length of v sine theta times a any vector perpendicular to u and v. So you have this picture u and v. u cross v will be in this direction following the right hand rule and the length of u cross v will be the length of u length of v sine theta where the theta is angle between u and v making use of this the distance d between the two lines is length of p1 p2 times length of v times sine theta over the length of v and the numerator is actually the length of P1, P2 cross V. Now, what is P1, P2? So, P1, P2 is a vector from P1 to P2. P1 is 2 minus 1, 0. P2 is 4, 1, 0. So, this is 4, 1, 0 minus P1 is 2 minus 1, 0. Which is equal to 2, 2, 0. And V is minus 1, 2, 3. So let's try to find a cross product of P1, P2 cross V. So P1, P2 cross V is equal to determinant of I, J, K. P1, P2 is 2, 2, 0. V is minus 1, 2, 3. So, after expanding out the 3 by 3 determinant, I have I times 2, 2, 0, 3 minus J times 2 minus 1, 0, 3 plus K times 2 minus 1, 2, 2. And this will give me 6I minus 6J plus 6K. So, the length of P1, P2 plus V is equal to square root of 108. Then we find V is minus 1, 2, 3. So the length of V is square root of 14. Therefore, the distance between two lines is the magnitude of P1, P2 cross V 
over magnitude of V, which is square root of 108 over square root of 14, and this is approximately 